Hey kids, uh, righto, so the challenge for this week of your holidays is about money. I wasn't sure whether I'd do this one or not. For the little ones, like if you guys are cubs, probably don't worry about this one. Keep working on the bottom one on your head because I know that one's going to be hard. Uh, this one I think is really, really cool and it'll be really fun when you learn how to actually do it because it's an amazing, amazing, amazing skill to have. What, um, what I want you to do is your goal will be to find a way to make $20. That's your target. $20 is your target. So that's what you want. Now I want you to do that before we get to class next week. So for you guys on Monday, that's going to be a little bit quicker, but mainly, you know, you should be able to do this over the weekend, maybe a little bit before then. It's holidays for you guys, right? So what I want you to do is come up with some ways that you things that you could do to make $20, right? Um, if you do this early, I'm gonna give you a second challenge. I'll write that down there. If you get the $20 early, then you're gonna have a second one. And if you do that, it's gonna be really, really cool. Two rules. First one. Cannot be paid. Uh, from or by your parents. That's the first rule. Okay. Has to be something uh, that your parents aren't paying for. Right? That means that you don't get to go and wash your parents' cars or you don't get to go and um, tidy up your room and your parents are giving you money for chores or anything like that. It's got to be from someone else. The second rule is it has to be, let's go blue, no, purple. We can read that. Yep, yeah, cool. So it has to be something the other person wants. So you're not forcing, you're not going and stealing $20, right? You're not going and um, doing anything bad to get this money. What you want to be doing is something good for another person that they want. And they're like, awesome. I love that. I really appreciate that you did that for me. Here's $20. You obviously have to put that price on whatever that you're doing. It doesn't have to be one thing for $20 too. It could be four things for $5 because five, 10, 15, 20, 20 bucks, right? It could be two things for $10 because then you've got 10, 20. All right, some ideas of this and some things that the kids that I've taught have done in the past, it could be something like, washing cars. Maybe um, weeding gardens or mowing lawns, anything like that. Oh, we're gonna go a little bit off screen here. Let's see, here we go. Uh, weeding gardens, mowing lawns. It could be something like, uh, you could be selling something to someone. I used to do this as a kid. This was how I started making money. Uh, when I was about eight or nine, we had, so you guys have still got Pokemon cards. Pokemon cards were starting to go in and out when I was a kid, but Yu-Gi-Oh cards was one. So that was a show. Um, and we had cards for that. I used to sell them and at school in one week, I got into a little bit of trouble because kids were using their lunch money <laughs> to pay for cards. But uh, I made $200 in one week when I was about eight years old. So I'd love to see you guys come up with something that you could do, that you could sell, that you could, something that's good for other people, right? Because that's what getting money's about. It's about doing something that's good for other people and then you get paid as a result because you've done something that's beneficial, that's positive for that person. So that's what I want you guys to work out. I want you to work out what are some positive things I could go and do for other people? What are some good things I could go and do for other people that they would want to pay for okay 
That's what I want you to work out. They're just some ideas. There can be a lot of others. It could be like if you're good at, um, I had another student of mine that used to make slime. She was, I think she did that when she was seven or eight years old. She made slime and she sold it to kids at school because kids love slime. So she just worked out how to make slime and then she just sold it. Uh, and she used to make money like that. Then, I don't know, there, there could be a lot of things, but try, try and find something, if you can find something that you love doing, if you're like, I love doing this. Like if you love, um, if you love doing, Pokemon cards, right? Let's go with this one. If you love Pokemon cards and you love playing with them, you love doing that, maybe you could set up a tournament. Uh, you set up a tournament and the winner of the tournament gets 20 bucks. But for them to play in the tournament, it costs them $5. So then what you would need is four people pay for the prize for the top. But then if you get eight people, you make, you keep $20 and the winner gets $20. And the kids all enjoy it because they're doing something they're really having fun doing. So it could be that. It could be like a, a Pokemon tournament if you know how the cards and that work. There's, there's a lot of things that you can come up with. What I want you to do is I want you to just be super, super creative. I want you to go, oh, what are all these things that I could do that other people would love? And then what I want you to do is go and turn that into 20 bucks. That's your job. And I want to hear the stories of this one because this is something that's really exciting. It's really fun to do. Uh, and if you get your $20 as the extended challenge, if you get the $20 before the weekend, then what I'd like you to try and do is come up with some ideas to make 200 and see if you can do that. Because if you're, if you're young and you can do that, it becomes very, very fun, very, very cool. And uh, you'll have a lot of fun when you're growing up too. So go and try and do that. Find something that you can do that's of value for other people that they like, that they enjoy, that would improve their life. And then see if you can make 20 first. And then if you get 20 easy, see if you can make 200. Cool. Go have fun, kids. Enjoy it. I'm looking forward to hearing these stories.